Bureau Pagasa says we should expect more rains in the coming weeks, especially now that we are in the La Nina season. But how are storms formed and what's the nature of tropical cyclone wind signals? Yesterday, signal number five was raised over some areas in Bicol due to Raleigh. Let's get to know more about this from the OIC Deputy Administration or Administrator for Research and Development of Pagasa, Dr. Esperanza Kayanan. Uh, good morning, Paul. Now, our country is prone to tropical cyclones because of our geographical location, but can you explain to us exactly how tropical storms are formed? Hi, Ria. Good morning. So, tropical cyclones actually form uh, over the warm oceans. So, the number one requirement is a warm sea surface temperature of around 26.5 degrees Celsius to about uh, 50 meter depth from the surface to uh, down to the sea or ocean. The next one is the what we call atmospheric uh, instability, which means that the surface must be warmer than the upper levels. And uh, this will enhance uh, rising motion from the surface to upper level. The next uh, requirement is high humidity, meaning there will be uh, enough moisture for water to to uh, evaporate and then condense. And this will lead to uh, some energy released from the condensation of the water. So this is uh, moisture. Moisture content of the atmosphere must be high. And of course, we have this requirement of what we call Coriolis uh, parameter or force, which is the spinning of the air near the surface of the Earth, which is around uh, uh, 500 uh, meters or kilometers from the uh, equator. So tropical cyclones does, uh, do not form near the equator because the spinning effect or the Coriolis force is not uh, is zero near the equator. Uh, another factor or requirement is an existing uh, uh, low level disturbance, which is say for example, we have a low pressure system or a tropical wave or inter intertropical convergence zone. So this is an existing low level weather disturbance. Another factor is the what is the low vertical wind shear, which means that uh, the wind must not vary very much from the surface to about uh, around uh, uh, to, uh, six kilometers from the surface. So the wind must not be changing so much. So those are the requirements for tropical cyclone uh, formation. Uh -huh. Okay, Basically, Dr. Esperanza, the um, main ingredient, the first ingredient is the warm sea surface temperature. All right. And the moisture. Dr. Esperanza, according to a 2015 article from the Smithsonian, tropical cyclones in the Pacific are, are getting more intense um, as ocean temperatures rise. Why is that? Yes, because uh, as we have uh, noted, the Tem the temperature uh, around the globe, particularly uh, the sea surface temperature, is rising. So it means that the warmer the oceans, the more uh, intense will be the tem uh, will be the tropical cyclones, because uh, the uh, warm sea surface temperature, the high uh, hotter uh, sea surface, means there will be much rising motion. There will be more evaporation of the wa water from uh, water surfaces, so it will enhance uh, the formation and the intensity of tropical cyclones. So the higher the temperature, the stronger will be the tropical cyclones because the rising motion is enhanced and also uh, evaporation is enhanced. And when we have enough moisture in the atmosphere, there will be more condensation right. and some energy are released in condensation process. Okay. This fuel the intensification of the tropical cyclones. Yeah, so we really need to uh, anticipate more bad weather with world temperatures rising. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Dr. Esperanza Kayanan of Pagasa.